Yes, yo, welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And you know I do it on this show, man. You never know. You know, we trade spice here, spice there. And you know, we make you the best. Yes, speaking of the best, we're going to be having a real talk with a very real personality today. He goes by the name Fisayo Michael Olagunju, known as, I'll not tell you yet, the chosen one. He was born on the 22nd of March in Lagos State. And on the 22nd of March this year, he gave us a very big revelation. And he was born. He was born into a family of engineers, doctors, and lawyers. Um, he had his primary education at Grace Children's School, Bagada. He attended Baptist Academy of Banikoro, Nigerian Turkish International College, and EMGREG High School for his secondary education. Um, he has always had the knack for show business as he has made a name for himself as a host, a hype man that brings great value and finesse to the hype industry with a fluency and style. He's a husband, a loving one at that. And yes, he is married to one of the most controversial actresses on the planet. <laughs> Trust me when I say on the planet, she is one of the most controversial ones. So you wonder how a man can still stay the way he is and firm and strong like man like MC Fish. <laughs> Hi, hi. MC Fish. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Welcome, welcome to the hi. studio, man. Hi, it's a pleasure to be here. Oh. Also, um, I'm actually very excited for this conversation. <laughs> I am <laughs> extremely excited. Very excited. But oh, yeah. my God. But I hope you have eaten. <laughs> yeah, it, it, everything. <laughs> everything. Like, yeah. well, nothing will they come off of this table. Everything at this table will go oh on now. Oh, my God. Are you ready? <laughs> mm. I'm ready. I'm First, ready. First, let's talk about your relationship. That's why you're here. We know you're the hype man. We know you. You look hyped. <laughs> but we're not talking it's about... a good hype man for that. Very good very one. Very good one. one. Yeah. No party yeah. host that in lead. Yeah. Always lead. Every day we yeah. meet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but let's talk about your personal life now. Yep, you know? yep, yep, yep. A lot of people don't know about your love story, so maybe that's why they don't understand. Mm. So maybe if we start from the genesis, you know, we'll How be able to meet? make sense mm. of all of this. How did you meet Anita Joseph? Uh, I was I was later to be at the birthday party. Actually, it was like I think her friend's birthday, but by proxy I knew that party was going on, and they called me up like, okay, you know what, come do your thing, and you know, I just saw her. I'm like. Ah. You know, she's always overwhelming, you know, in mm. the eyes. So I was like, you know what, hi, what's up? I didn't even know where I summoned the courage. I didn't even know she was popular at that time. Mm. I honestly did not know. Mm. It was after then, you know, then I now started realize, to realize who she was, how popular she was, you know. In funny fun fact is, you know, the first one month that I met, I used to live in Aja, mm. you understand? And she lives in on the mainland. So, if we go out, I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you look at that long That's distance. A long distance. So yeah. I'll go. When we go out, when like in the morning, I'll go and drop her home. Then I'll now start coming back wow. again. You know, a lot, of, a lot of people don't know this, but mm. I'm the type of person whereby if 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 I make a space in my heart for you, I'm a sucker for it. So mm. so I do a lot of stuff. That's why people see me outside. I wear bags. I wear shoes. Mm. Yeah. I'm the type of person like I do not care. You're my friend. Mm. I don't care what they say about you. Mm. Like I was watching what you guys were saying earlier that uh, if if someone easily believes mm. what they say about you, they've always mm. had a reason mm. to be against you. Yeah. So I'm always that type of person. If I was here, I met her the last time mm. I came, and mm. I'm the type of person whereby I see the best in everybody. Mm. Mm. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, but you see, I think I think something about you that is. M giving momentum on social media, especially about your relationship, mm -hmm. is that you don't put ego as the first thing, which is a common thing here. I mean, yeah. uh, most men do everything from an ego perspective. That's not, that's not how, I, I, I can't cry because it doesn't look nice. I can't wear her bag because it doesn't look good or whatever, whatever. Most men are like that, not all. Um, so I think for, for, for somebody like you and, uh, and your relationship with Anita, and it's so public, it's kind of like a breath of fresh air, like it's kind of, wow, okay, that's different. And then obviously that also attracts the negative as well, because people don't like what they don't understand. Yeah. So um, I want to know, you were born here, raised here. When did you on remove yourself from the <laughs> from the hold? <laughs> from <laughs> from <laughs> the hold. <laughs> oh my from that God. hold of, you know, um, Ego. Just ma toxic masculinity. You removed yourself. How did you do that? And when? Well. Oh, was it because of her? I uh, yeah. Ex ex let's mm. let's say she added to the magic. Right. Know? She added to the magic. I won't lie. She added to the magic. She loves me taking care of. 
And I like doing one thing that if, if I'm with you, I like doing that thing that makes you happy. Mm. She loves being pampered, so I know how to pamper you. I'll pamper you from now to tomorrow. But the thing is, um, it's not like I, I set out to try and make a point, you know. Like I said before, I'm the type of person that I do not, I don't care about what people say. Clearly. From mm. when I was young, you know, even my stepmom, I used to go with my stepmom to the market, you know, Lagos Island, carry a bag, mm. you know, go everywhere, buy me, buy different things. So I've always been brought up in a way that mm -hmm. I have to grow up to be a gentleman. So, yeah. so I think it starts from it started from home basically. Yeah, yeah. Did you have sisters? Did you have, oh, more, Yeah, I had sisters. Did you have a dad? Did you have brothers? I, I, yeah, yeah. Are they yeah. like that as well? Like did you did you see that where men actually put their women first despite the backlash that might happen from mm -hmm, mm -hmm, from mm -hmm, society? Mm -hmm. What did you you saw that growing up? Yeah, I saw that and right. I saw a lot of, you know, domestic squabbles also mm, because yeah. truth of the matter is me and my wife we have issues. Of course. Like, there are sometimes we fight, like, we seriously fight, but not physical. Mm -hmm. It's just verbal, and I, I get out of the house, and I just, you know. But the crazy thing about it, and probably the sweetest thing is, we don't go a day without talking, mm -hmm. you know. There was, time, there was time we had an issue, we had a scrubber. And I just picked up the phone, like, so you you not talk to me, mm -hmm. and today we'll go to an end, mm -hmm. you know. So we have our issues, but we always let the good side come first. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, what we see right now in marriages are the bad sides. Yeah. She has false songs of the bad side. But, like, she always says it. I say it all the time. Show the good side of marriage. Mm. Show the good side of marriage. And at the end of the day, people will always talk. Whether you do the right thing or you do the wrong thing, they will always have an opinion. All right. So, you know what, um, yesterday we had a conversation about if it's okay for you to wash your woman's underwear and stuff like that. And I said that when I got downstairs, okay, I didn't say it on set. I said, if my mom was watching me say I've washed pants before, my, the TV in my house is broken. She for don't they slap me from the screen. <laughs> you know that kind of thing. So did you have any family pressure, you know, when the news started getting out there that, oh, he's extremely sweet um, to his wife. Mm -hmm. When you get the family pressure, was your mom, was it, your brothers calling you like, dude, get on Shana, what are you doing? What exactly are you doing? Did you ever get that? Um, Okay, let me say uh, I've always been the black sheep of the family. Mm -hmm. I'm always in my own lane. I'm practically one of the first people in my family to really go into entertainment. Mm -hmm. Like, go follow the music, follow the nightlife, follow the entertainment. So, in my family, once I do something, they always leave. I bet leave them, yeah, leave them. Sure, you understand. Mm -hmm. And I don't see anything bad in it. Mm -hmm. See, the, should I tell you the truth? Is did they do this thing? But men know they just they come and they talk. Yes. Let me say it in the room, you understand? Yes. A lot of people do it. A yes. lot of people do it. But it's the pride to come out and say it. Mm. But I have I have one thing that I, I will always say when it comes to this topic. If she can wash my undies, why can't I wash hers? It's the same level of clothing. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same level of clothing. It's the same. It's this. It's practically the same thing. She doesn't share the strength of thought, though. Yes, I do. You believe yes, you're going to wash? Okay, so me, personally, I am not domesticated <laughs> in any way. I don't like washing my own clothes oh, wow. or cooking or mm. da, 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 da. So it, that, that kind of situation, my laundry, if I'm living with a man or whatever, I'll, any laundry that's in there, I'm going to put in the washing machine and wash. Mm. Let it be boxes, pants, underwear. I don't care. I think it's when it comes down to like the physical, but that's not because it's a man's boxes. It's just because I don't like to wash in general. But I like okay, the idea okay, okay. of okay. the fact that if, and I like that you brought it up. If you can do it, if the woman can do it for you, let's say you guys wash clothes, you got, your hands at home. Mm -hmm. And I asked him downstairs as well, like in the newsroom, because he was saying that, ah, I can never do it. Where I'm from, where I'm from. I was like, okay, okay, but your wife can do it. She was like, eh. Eh? Who? The guy in the the guy that okay. puts it to satellites. Oh, okay, uh -huh. okay, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he was like, you know, I, and then he turned down. I'm like, but if your wife can do it, then why can't you do it? Anyway, one other question I have for you. <laughs> is yeah this is all cool i'm so i'm a big fan of how your relationship because i just feel like you guys have decided but how sorry, you want sorry, that to sorry 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 to cut you you didn't tell me about family yes you're the black ship mm -hmm. did anyone raise an eyebrow when uh, you like you said no it. my mom my practice probably have like maybe like freaked out a little bit but mm. my mom is mom is a sweetheart too you know like most of the things you see i get it from her at the same time, if she if she if she's down with you, she's down yeah. with you, you know. Yeah. So I probably, I think she, she didn't see it as anything out of the ordinary because she understood the mentality I had. Absolutely. But she wouldn't like the publicity though. Like it was. Um, I I told her one thing. Like at the very first instance when I knew I was going to marry my wife, that look, this person is popular. Mm. You will hear 
all sorts of things. Yeah. But I, the only thing you should believe is the words from my mouth. Uh -huh. mouth. Yeah. yeah, I think that's also my next question. Like, I like that the fact that we we talked about it before. You brought you you um, were sitting on the table that wow. decide what you want to do in your relationship, which is why I know in my own relationship there's no head, shoulder, knees. Both of us are doing everything together, but. The, I think where it comes a bit like surprising for me is how public you guys have decided to go. I mean, I understand that you guys are both personalities, but you are extremely public about little details. I remember the first time I bumped into your content, I don't even think I, was, I had this job yet, and I think it was something about sex and all of that. I was like, really, you know, really, really personal things. Yeah, and I think you that. know that, obviously, that's going to generate some serious backlash because people, mm. even if you talked about it nicely, which you don't, you don't, you were quite, <laughs> uh -huh. but you know, yeah. yeah, so you know, even if you talk about it nicely, people are going to be like, oh, sex, you mm. know, oh, whatever. So why do you guys, like, is there a purpose for your in-depth exposure of your personal business to um, the world? Okay. Before now, I wasn't really like a public person. I was just the guy that goes to work and does my stuff and come back. Mm. You know, but when I met her, I realized that she's a public person. She she has grown in years in that public space. She's practically the practical example of a public person. Mm. So, in order not to you know just have issues, I love her mm. sincerely. So, if you love someone, don't try to change the person. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can change little details, but the best <laughs> thing in that person bring it out, and that is. This publicity, mm. you know, she's the person that wants to say something to people. She's she wants opinion. to tell people. She wants to air her opinions. If she's mm. angry at you, she's gonna come and say it to you. Mm. You get so that's who she is, and I just okay, but I just now, have to go uh, with the flow. So can I have a follow-up question yeah. to that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because even the first time I watched your video, I felt like what you said. I so I felt the energy in the video that she's a lot more. Like it's her thing, it's more thing, than exactly. more than it's yours. You're yeah. more like in the back, just say yes, babe. Mm. Uh huh. Go on. You know, uh -huh. da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, continue. But I'm here for you and I support mm -hmm. you and I'm mm -hmm. with you. Um, but do you ever fear that you could lose yourself in that? Yeah, mm. yeah. It's, it's 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 not easy, you know. But I tell my friends, my family, one thing. You see, if you if you're going through something and it's not life or death, my brother, relax. Mm. Just relax. See, while I know they finish, mm -hmm. okay. there's always a problem mm. every day. Like I said, we have our issues. We call. Sometimes it might be that I go out a lot because of work. Mm. Sometimes I might not be at home. Mm. That's the one she hates the most, like when I'm not in the house, you know. It's not like there's anything, but she just she doesn't see me, she's not close to me yeah. and all that. Oh, so she's all that lovey dovey uh, type of thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so yeah. that's it. That's, yeah. that's basically all right. It. So you know, you you've said that, that several times that there are things about your relationships that we don't know about, and there are things that we would never know about, but we can imagine. And she has also, you know, put ideas in her head, telling us that MC what? Fish is the only guy that can take me to certain places. You know those videos now. Why are you acting like you don't know? MC <laughs> Fish is the only guy. Do you think that that's sexual? bond is that thing that keeps it going that makes it work that even when you think about letting go you think of more that thing oh I can't, does it does he ever call to you is no, there it's, a it's bond a in that in soup for me it's just a spice right. in the soup we're practically best friends mm. like if, if she gets on like maybe on the popular blog or just she gets online for something mm. trendy you know we just laugh the last one that happened to her, I just had, I called her and said, ah, today now your turn, no? mm -hmm. Because there's always something to talk about. Mm -hmm. If you talk about her from now, that, oh, she's just married, she's advising everybody. This one self, I don't know who is this MC Fish self. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is it with his one shoe, mm -hmm. which is this, with his, I've heard a lot of stuff. Yeah. But I realized one thing, there's always something to talk about. Mm -hmm. She talk about me this week, next week, mm -hmm. there will be another person to talk about. Mm. Okay, so now you're, I mean, you, I like that you've created your own relationship. You've tailored mm. your relationship to yourself, not mm -hmm. by society, because mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. a typical, a typical mm -hmm. example of a Nigerian bred mm -hmm. relationship, right? So I, I'm good with that. I'm your fan. Cool. Mm -hmm. But that is just a relationship, right? You yeah. still have other relationships in your life, like the people that you work with, your friends, yeah. your colleagues. I mean, you're in entertainment space, so yeah. artists and things like that. Yeah. Do you, as a man, because I know the pressure is going to be more on you, um, do you have? Do you ever get into a position where you realize that people are not maybe like being down with you or respecting you because they don't like how you and um, Anita are? Do you ever? Do you ever mm. have that? Or, or have you been able to create a space where they, everybody around you is also as 
um, accommodating. Have you lost people because of yeah, like are they are you are, are the people around you accommodating to how you are with your? With your yeah, I can say it's fifty fifty. Like mm. some some are, some are not. But I always make my stand. I always you know. I always tell people where I stand. Mm. Yeah. Like recently, someone said something about. Uh, I'm like, bruh, mm. don't go there. I mm. will mess you up. <laughs> really, like mm. you know, you if it like I said, like I said, if if you come for my wife, I'll come for you. Of course. If you come for me, we see you in the troll. Don't worry, we see you in all those trolls. So, we see so, you in the comment section. So I don't, I, I, I literally don't take nonsense. A lot of people when they see us outside together, when they see us the way we do our thing, they're like, ah, this, this lady actually respects this guy. Which thing is, of course, no. what does this guy, you know? Mm. I would say it's, it's just the respect I give her. It's just reciprocal. To end respect, you gotta give respect. Mm. You get. If I get angry at her, she knows deep down that. She must have probably pushed me mm. to that point because me going from a guy that can wear your shoes in public, that can you know hold your hands, that can wear your mm. bags, all her videos I take it, all her pictures I take it. Mm. You understand? And uh, you do a good job. <laughs> <laughs> you do a very good you gotta job. Gotta start booking, you know. <laughs> very good job. Okay, but then um, mm, okay. Oh, you I got a lot of questions for yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, let me just ask: Have you ever had to choose? between a nature and something you really want and you chose her. Maybe something she doesn't even know about. Maybe there's a time to let her know that, babe, I lost this contract because of you. I lost. Uh, because you know, I, I t we, we talk about everything. Mm. Like, if I go through something, we talk about it, you know. We pray about it. Ignore the fact that we're in entertainment, we pray. I believe in God, you know. So I, we pray, you know, we're, we're together on everything. If she's going through something, I'm right there, I'm not moving. Okay, so, but do you ever, I mean, does she, has she ever said anything and you don't agree on social media? Yeah. And then what do you, do you just stay silent or you're saying right now? No, no, no. Yeah, I, I, were you in the comment section saying, babe? Alpha. <laughs> Alpha. Yeah. You know, you always got, you always got to keep it crisp, you right. know. Yeah, never true. give room for loopholes. Mm. You never give room smart for loopholes. Man. Very yeah. smart man. Mm -mm. If something, if, if something comes out about me later on, fine. We we'll, we'll sort that when when that happens. Mm. But you never give room for loopholes. So you, you would in in public, you would never show that you didn't agree to what she was saying. You talk about it inside. Yeah. Like, you know, she say something. We we'll talk about it inside, and she come out and change the statement. Oh, so right. she might probably say something to correct. Mm -hmm. what she said right mm. right you understand so like i scrutinize everything she posts if she wants mm. to she, a caption if she wants to type it mm. i like no don't do it like this do it like this this is how you say it so mm. that you don't offend some mm. people all right so there was this post um you know peter Doce put out um he had an interview with bbc ebo actually where he was saying that um feminism has given rise to domestic violence and all of that and that women actually um need to be very submissive for their relationship to work are you of that train of thought or you believe that, oh, are you, do you believe that a man is the head of the house or it's a 50-50 thing? I think it's 50-50. Do you know why? Why? If you're married, then... You wish make me your friend. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm not being biased. Uh -huh. I'm, not, I'm not trying to look good on camera. I'm not trying to look good for you guys. I'm saying the truth because it's what I believe in. I believe it's 50-50. I've always, in fact, my spec, my particular spec of girl when I wanted to marry was a working class lady. Oh. Thank you. And the power of the yeah. most on that works. Because you know why? In as much as women work, they should try to keep the home intact. Yes. You see that home, that's the hardest thing. Mm. If you're with your wife or your girlfriend, or you guys are at home and she's the one running the house, and she travels for just a week, a week is too much. Mm. If you have to do you have to drop the kids to school, get the mm. kids ready for school and all that, you know that it's a whole lot of job and they will do that and still go to work. Mm. You know? So oh now, do you, that, that means, because if you say 50-50, that also means that even with submission, because when there's two people involved, submission must I feel, occur. I feel the issue so of domestic violence is, is, I think it's personal. I think, I feel like it's, it's personal orientation. Yes, now, because you can submit no from now to tomorrow and still no, be, Yes. Uh -uh. We, we've seen a lot of instances where the woman is very, very submissive, very, 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 very respectful, very, very caring, and she still gets beaten. Mm. All right, so... Okay. We, um, we sorry. We also saw that we're actually running out of time. Oh, we also sorry. saw that um, Peter Doce <laughs> also, you know, emphasized on the kitchen. And if you know about some popular related, I mean, a popular saying, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. But we've never heard you guys, you know, really talk about the kitchen, you know, like, does she cook? How does she, you get me? Like, she's always on the road. How does that affect your relationship? Uh, well, um, she cooks. She cooks. 
But you know the nature of the job. She's always mm. traveling. She's always shooting. So I, I had to, you know, tailor myself mm. to it. Look, someone really recently said on, Insta, on the internet that if cooking is a, a whole lot of stress, you get someone to do it. We yeah. have we have millionaires, we Thank have billionaires you. in this country that have they have three chefs, yeah. mm. and you their marriages are still intact. They have four drivers. Chefs. They have people that do all these things for them. Uh, Life is supposed to be easy. I'm telling you, oh God. All right, so real quick, real quick, all because right. you are now a relationship expert. <laughs> a lot of men want to be like oh you. You know, <laughs> a lot of us are no longer ashamed to say we have washed pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, now we don't have. Come out and say. Yes, come out and say. Yes, we have done it. it see, it doesn't do anything. Um, so, okay. so give us five quick tips on how to keep your marriage going. Five, mm. real quick. Uh, that works for you. Always listen. Mm. Uh, if it gets too tensed up, be the calm one because you're the man. Uh, no, matter what, no matter which way the argument goes, they will look at you first because you are the man. Mm. You are the, how will I say it now? <sighs> you are the figure of calmness. You're supposed mm. to be the one to, you know, Make everything be calm. If mm. the space is too toxic, you leave. It doesn't mean you're leaving the relationship. The relationship. Mm. Ah, what else? What else? Try and understand your spouse. You know, know what they like the most, know what they hate the most. Mm. If that fits your description, you're good to go. Mm. You know, because that's what comes. That will, that was, that's the only thing that brings issues. You know, mm. I don't like this. I don't like this. You know, mm. differences. Because you're meeting somebody that has a different upbringing, a different, you know, a different yeah. mindset. What else? What else? What else? <laughs> there's so many. You ah, there's so many. You've actually even said a lot in. in and then, wait, I mean, you get the one with there. Then, the uh, you get one where they always tell people, you know, play with your wife. You should mm. play with your wife out. You know, you know, you know, all those kind of, you know. Oh hey, not that one, me, I want you. Yeah, you know, that's yeah, that piece. That's particular. If she's one. out and you've been the one in the house, you know, you should come back. You hot guy, but mm. you grab everything. Mm -mm. Hold on. You know, <laughs> let her be shocked that, ah, what's wrong with this man? You know? Mm. So, uh, what else, what else? I, I think that's all I got. Mm. <laughs> and I always tell her you love her. Yeah, always, always. Mm. Never forget. You also mentioned that you guys don't um, sleep on a fight. I think that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. No, we don't, yeah, don't, don't never sleep, sleep on a fight. fight yeah. A quick shout out to, to Joseph. I wish call Thank you so rap. much. We love your husband. <laughs> Not like that, so please. Just, you know, as far as like, we My like, guy, please, your shout out. We like, we shout we like out. the kind that's of man camera right there. A quick shout out to your wife. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what up, what up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is William Sipish. I'm chosen one. And uh, my wife, my love, and it's a Joseph or Lagunju. Hey. Galakwes, AK, Manaris, AK, Abalans, AK, or the Catchelo wine, AKA. Because the last time she, want, she wanted to finish me, that you, you do not get it. <laughs> you know? Always say, I love you. Uh, keep doing what you do. You know I'm your number one fan. I love you so much. God bless you. Aww.